So hello there, welcome back to another episode of Wired In. So I've been fishing for uh, an hour and a half last night and um, we've got nine nautilus shells plus the heart of the sea from the shipwreck that we found. And this is my old uh, fishing rod which is called shark bait <laughs> to which I will be adding this. Oh yeah, <laughs> we finally got a mending book. So we got mending from fishing. So I think the best thing to do is to invest this mending book back into the fishing rod so we can get more mending books. It's gonna get shark bait here. Our anvil here. Hopefully it's, oh, it's only five levels. Are you serious? <laughs> here we go. Boom. So shark bait has got mending on it. So if I lose this bow, that's it, the whole series is over, I'm ending wired in. Just kidding, I won't do that, but yeah. So the way mending works is, I'm sure you all know this, but I'm just gonna show you. So you can see I've got 25 levels. And the durability went up. Uh, it's at 15. Let's do it again. Now it's at durability 19, so we got 4 durability, so in no time this is gonna fill up and it's gonna like stay with us forever. And uh, I'll also get some levels after it's finished healing up. Okay, that's enough of that. So in between episodes... Yeah. <laughs> so in between episodes I will be doing some AFK fishing for treasure and we finally got some not less shells. I think we only need eight for this, and we got uh, four more, so we can make another conduit once we get another heart, another heart of the sea. Ooh. I added a crafting bench right here, and boom! We finally got us as a conduit. It looks kind of tiny, but trust me, it's gonna be worth it. Okay, so the other day I decided to leave this out of the video when I was making the island and uh, I had fish in my hand and there was a dolphin here, so I fed the dolphin. Let's see if we can try to do it again. Okay, no dolphin seemed to be spawning, but basically I fed the dolphin, it went this way. Because when you feed dolphins, they start giving out some green particles like when you bone meal some the ground or something and they basically lead the player to some treasure any chest basically so it might be a shipwreck it can be a buried treasure it can be the ones that you find in the it's a map in the, the drowned structures that's like all over the place oh yeah it went past my island so it's this way oh right there can you see that do you see that and that my friends would we in the business call money <laughs> but we have an ocean monument there which I will come back with the boat oh I have a boat I always had a boat on me right so I'm gonna see if I can get some prismarine before the guardians start attacking me okay that, that it is that's the effect so when, when the guardians uh, use their powers on you, as in the elder guardians, I think it's called fit, mining fatigue, you basically cannot mine. As you can see there. Okay, so this, no doubt, I even spoke about this last episode. I'm definitely gonna place the conduit underwater here. The way a conduit works is first of all, it has to be underwater and it has to have prismarine surrounded around it in something that looks like this I think okay I'm gonna need a lot more prismarine and no need some air just grab a single piece of kelp so this is place the kelp down place a conduit on top and 
We got conduit power, which means we got night vision as well as we can breathe in the water now. Now, as you can see, the mining fatigue is still on, which means look, it takes me so long just to break a block of sand. So just get a bucket, go to a cow, and drink the milk. And I made uh, I made some small changes to the tree. So I added it kind of looked a bit awkward like bending over one way. So I added another trunk and some more leaves on the other side. So it looks like a small cherry blossom tree. Because we've got the whole Japanese build aesthetic here. Welcome to the wired in <laughs> get it. Get it. Wired in. Wired in. A boom and a bop. Okay, so today's episode we are going to be working on our uh, experience farm, which is the, the cave spider spawner. So let me get to that right now. As you can see, I've clearly been in danger. You see that? You see that over there? I think that is a spawner because there's cobblestone and I've never been here. Okay, mister. Oh, it's a spider spawner. Okay. Not bad. What do we have here? Any diamonds? No. I already have 13. I'll take the bones and the melon seeds. I don't think I've had melons before. Okay, so I found a regular cave spawner, but I feel like this is much more closer and more easier to work with. So I'm just going to make a cave spider spawner instead. Note that a spider spawner is easier to make, but a cave spider spawner requires a little bit more effort. So let's get to it. So I've set up a small base over here. Welcome back by the way. And in between, right in front of the spider spawner, I went down there and I think on the opposite side as well. I went a bunch of places and look what we got. Take a deep breath <laughs> because we got all this. Can you believe it? 61 diamonds. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's all due to the fact that I found a bunch of lapis veins and I used uh, the lapis check to find, I guess, four diamond veins. Literally four. I mean, not four. I found three with three lapis veins and I found one just digging randomly. But with the help, also, my pickaxe isn't doing so great. I think I had half durability when I started out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so we can get a new pickaxe. We've got the levels and I got all of these from mining out redstone, coal, iron, copper as well as some gold for some reason. And we made a new friend. Hello. I found him. He was, he was dying to magma blocks. So yeah, that's that. And interesting development. So I made this uh, workstation here on this side, which apparently was also a slime chunk spawn. So let me get the farm underway and I'll show you how to build a spider spawner farm. So the way spawners work, any spawner that you find in your world, you want to go one, two, three, four. So four blocks in every direction. So that's one, two, three, four, and block it off that way. There's one, two, three, four. So, and this I have one, two, so, so that's perfect. I don't have to do any digging over there. <clears throat> Excuse the voice crack. Now, from the top, I recommend going too high from the spawner. So it's like that's one, that's two, and this is the ceiling of the farm. Out. So as you can see here, this is where your spiders are going to be spawning and the farm itself is going to be right underneath because you need the spiders to fall down a bit. You need it to go six, four down. One, two, three, four, five. Let's jump down here. Yeah, we could do something. So I thought this was going to be easier to do. 
but that it's suspended in the mine shaft, the spawner. But it's actually going to be a lot more difficult. You know what? I'm going to get a new pickaxe. Let's do that right now. With our diamonds we found. I might need to make. Oh, I just realized I had never made a disenchanting. Wait, what do you call them? Grindstones. Yep. And bada bing, bada boom. We got a grindstone. So we will place the grindstone there. Get rid of this unbreaking garbage. Oh, silk touch. But it's only silk touch. I'm just gonna quickly craft another diamond pickaxe. Another silk touch. You know what? Okay, that's not bad. Which means we can get rid of this one. And just for good measure, because we need a fortune one. Another silk touch. Okay, let's see. Efficiency 5 and unbreaking. Alright, so definitely gonna do this. 21 levels, too much. And that's 11. We will name this the Silk Destroyer. So basically what I'm doing is digging out all the, the mineshaft blocks here. Okay, that looks about right. Now it's time to get the floor in. So for the top, I'm just going to play some tinted glass. Okay, that's perfect. Alright, so I've cleared out the area and now that we've got the whole structure finished, as you can see it's made completely with black stone and some tinted glass. I detailed the blocks here and there. And if you come down here, so there were some oak logs going down from the original mine shaft, so I decided to replace them with these spruce logs here as you can see. Looking pretty neat. Let's cover that back on top. And now I added a bunch of detail right over here. so. This kind of powers the spawner. I added a slab on top of the spawner and now that you've got an area which is four blocks away from on all directions, two, two above and I'm guessing four. Yep, four blocks down here as well. So now we need to place signs on this block here. So below the topmost block. Okay, now that all the signs are in place, get your stairs and start placing them like this. So we have essentially a block over here. I 
Alright, so you should have something that looks like this, minus this block. Now, just place water, like so, creating infinite water sources as we go along. Uh, we need to kill the stray spiders. You wanna kill them basically, and you don't want them to just hang around, so this is for that. Okay, now that that's done, get rid of your temporary blocks. Right, now that you have something that looks like this on top, where there's water around the edge, you need to place... Sorry. <laughs> uh, you need to place water all through the back here, and... Like so, wait, let me just show you. For this farm to work efficiently, this is not enough. So you can see here, there's this one block right there. You need to go one more up. You could place a block there, but I just figured this would be easier. Save on some blocks. Alright, so now this part of the farm is done. We need to head down here. Just gonna place a block there. You don't need to go in there anymore. I need to bring this up. Take some of these fancy looking blocks. Bring this up two blocks as you can see right here. Just like that. And place some stairs here. So right around here, you want to place some slabs underneath. So this is very important. So look at the water source right there. As soon as I place a slab, that's gonna thicken up. So that, yeah, so that works. This is to make sure that the spiders don't go back into the, the build. Actually, I might need some of these. Alright, perfect. But the thing is, spiders can, cave spiders as in, they can easily fit between half blocks, so we need to block that. And the best way is to place iron trapdoors. So place them in front like this. That's perfect. Now place another row because they can actually reach you within one block, so you need to stay this far away from them so that you don't get hurt in the process. Now let's set up the collection system. Right, so I'm gonna place a redstone block here. Powered rails like so. Get rid of this lantern. Then a regular rail going around the back. Now find the middle of the farm. So that's this block. I'm gonna break these. Then place a hopper going into this. Place two more like so. Perfecto. Now continue placing your rails all the way across. And right over here place your last powered rail. Lever right here. So this is where you turn it on and off. Okay, that's a problem. These are just temporary by the way. Still look cool. <laughs> Anyway, now you get your minecart with the hopper, place it down there, that should be good to go. I think one power rail would do fine, but I put nine because I had that many. And you want it to collect fast because there's going to be a lot of drops here. And then, let me see, so I want to be standing here like this. So just place some slabs like so. Place slabs all over the back. And place some stairs here. And I guess you could place some black stone just to stand over here. 
Let's see. The farm should be done right now. Okay, I guess it's time to finally turn on the farm. And by you turn it on by getting rid of the torches inside. Okay, I always hate this part. Oh, God. First things first, we're gonna get rid of the side ones. No, 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 uh, I see a spider there. He's gonna jump at me, I know. Oh, okay, we made it. Oh, okay. That was close. I thought I could get away with not getting hit, but we got hit. Uh, it doesn't mind. I mean, it doesn't matter is what I meant to say. <laughs> I kind of mix, I don't mind and it doesn't matter. But anyway, the farm is done and as you can see it's working. The way that you get the spider's attention is so by just crouching and standing here. Oh, that's too close for comfort. But yeah. As you can see, all the spiders have their eye on me. And I'd recommend using a smite. That's my Bane of Arthropods 5. I have 4 here. So, I should be getting, be able to get a 1 hit kill now. Perfect. So if you have Bane of Arthropods 5 and you've got a bunch of entities crammed there, as in spiders, you can essentially get a 1 hit kill. Now, just turn on the collection system. You want to XP to stand here, the spiders can't reach you. As you can see, I'm jumping. And don't worry, uh, EXP orbs do not despawn, they're like entities, so they don't despawn, you can you can do this for hours on end, and then collect the EXP when you're done. As you can see, the items got picked up the minecart of the hopper. And they are all over here. Ah. You saw that the spiders were trying to get away and they can't swim into that water source because of the trick that we did. And then the second I looked at them, their, their uh, AI targeted me and this way you're not going to get any losses. And even if any of them do go up there, they're going to drown eventually. Let's see, the, I think that's like 10 odd spiders. That's a lot of XP. Alright, so that is basically it. I hope you enjoyed. I will decorate. Uh, I will leave you after decorating this build. Enjoy and I'll see you later. Goodbye.